Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical, consider an LTI system with an input X of N and unit impulse response H of N given below. Compute the output Y of N. The input X of N is equal to 2 to the power N U of minus N and impulse response H of N is equal to U of N. So now the task is to sketch uh, compute the output y of n which is the convolution of x of n and h of n. So let me consider, let me start with the solution. First I need to write the formula for convolution which is y of n is equal to, we know it is summation k equal to minus infinity till infinity x of k h of n minus k. So now I should know what is x of k and uh, I should know what is h of n minus k. The given signals are in terms of x of n and h of n. So I just have to replace the variable n with k so that I would get x of k and h of k. So for that I need to plot first uh, the input as well as impulse response. So let me consider x axis and y axis. Yes, here I am going to sketch the first signal that is x of k. This is with respect to k. So what is this signal? 2 to the power n or once I replace n with k I get 2 to the power k which is a growing exponential that gets multiplied with u of minus k. That means the signal exists from minus infinity to 0. Is that okay? The growing exponential this signal 2 to the power n exists from minus infinity to plus infinity which is a growing exponential such a signal gets multiplied with u of minus n which exists only from minus infinity to zero. So this part cancels out. Is that fine? So in that way I need to sketch x of k. How does that look like? So first let me write uh, the time. This is zero minus one minus two minus three and so on. If I make if I make uh, k equal to 0 that is 2 to the power 0 the signal is 1 anything to the power 0 is always 1 we know that so let me draw that then if I put k is equal to minus 1 that is 2 to the power minus 1 which is nothing but 1 divided by 2 is that okay yes then if I put k is equal to minus 2 I am going to get 1 divided by 4 similarly if I put k equal to minus 3 I am going to get 1 divided by 8 and so on so in this way it continues so this is nothing but x of k so this is the amplitude 1 this is 1 divided by 2 and this is 1 divided by 4 and this is 1 divided by 8 so this is how x of k looks like similarly let me also sketch now h of k. So let me call this signal as h of k. This is sketched with respect to k. So what is the signal? It is uh, which is u of k. u of k means the signal exists from 0 to plus infinity. So let me sketch that which is 1 everywhere. This is 1 this is also 1, this is also 1 and in that way it continues forever till plus infinity. So this is the uh, time limit is 0, 1, 2. Correct? And I which has an amplitude of 1 everywhere and this signal continues. So what should I do now? I have to get h of n minus k. I have only h of k. How do I get h of n minus k? I have to reflect this signal h of k. So let me consider again uh, x-axis and y-axis and let me now call this signal as h of n minus k and this is with respect to k. I said I need to reflect the signal so if I reflect what I'm going to get that I need to sketch over here. So how does that signal looks like? It is the mirror image, mirror uh, reflected version of the signal h of k. So if I do that I'm going to get something like this. Correct? Yes. And this signal is going to exist till minus infinity. So I'll just 
uh, sketch few dots the amplitude is uh, 1 this is 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 so now I'm ready with both the signals X of K and H of N minus K so now what I have to do is I have to shift H of N minus K to the extreme left are you getting this X of K I'll keep it constant H of N minus K first I'll shift it to the extreme left I would multiply both the signals add them later I would shift this signal to the extreme right again I would multiply these two signals add them so that I would get convolution sum so as I said I have to shift H of N minus K to the left so for that what should I do so now the point where K is equal to 0 I would call this point as k equal to n so this is useful for me to find the summation the point where k is equal to 0 I would call it as k equal to n so now what I do is I would make when n less than or equal to 0 that means the signal starts getting shifted to the left is that okay I would make n less than or equal to 0 what happens now if I make it n less than or equal to 0 I would get y of n the output signal y of n which is equal to summation what is the extreme lowest limit that is minus infinity so I would write k is equal to minus infinity till what point till the upper point that is n is that okay so in general it is minus infinity to plus infinity but I said I have to shift this signal H of n minus k to the extreme left and if that gets sig this signal gets shifted to the left the upper limit would be this one the lower limit is minus infinity and the upper limit turns out to be plus n and what do I have I have x of k h of n minus k so writing only this limit is the most important of this numerical rest is only the simplification so now I would consider summation k is equal to minus infinity till the upper limit n x of k which is 2 to the power k h of n minus k which is 1 so I just have to solve this summation so how do I solve this summation I have to reduce this to the standard form of the geometric series so let me write it over here summation n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n alpha to the power n so what is that equal to that is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so this is the result of standard geometric series so now I have to change that so what should I do now first let me I have to do few mathematical operations over here let me write put L is equal to minus K so what is going to happen now if I put L is equal to minus K that means I'm changing the limit variable K to L is that okay K is equal to minus K the K value takes as minus infinity if I put over here I'm going to get minus of minus infinity as plus infinity lower limit upper limit upper limit K is equal to n so now I would put it over here I would get L is equal to minus n is that okay that is the upper limit 2 to the power K K takes the value of minus K uh, minus L is this fine yes so now moving further so what should I do now I want infinity in the upper limit if I consider if I compare that with a standard geometric series uh, infinity infinity is there in the upper limit so hence I have to interchange the limits can I interchange the limits with uh, summation the answer is yes I can interchange the limits of summation without adding any negative sign I have to add a negative sign if it is an integration as it is summation the direction of addition is not important so hence I can interchange the variables 2 to the power minus L is that fine so now I got infinity in the upper limit a lower limit I wanted as 0 so for that I have to do again a mathematical operation so what I do over what should I do over here is so let me just consider sorry just let me draw a straight line and uh, continue with this uh, numerical so what should I do now I write put 
so again i'm going to change l to m minus n so these iterations are very important so what is going to happen then if i put l is equal to m minus n so i'm going to get y of n is equal to i'm putting l is equal to m minus n in this equation is that okay so what is going to happen summation so what is the new variable now new variable is m so what happens l is equal to minus n i said put l is equal to m minus n the lower limit l is equal to minus n minus n i'm put i'll put here m minus n minus n minus n would cancel i would get m is equal to 0 as the lower limit are you getting this as i wanted 0 i got 0 as the lower limit what is the upper limit upper limit l is equal to infinity so just substitute that infinity is equal to m minus n so m is equal to it is infinity plus n i'm adding n to the infinity which still turns out to be infinity that means upper limit still is infinity so now i got the upper limit also as infinity 2 to the power minus l what is l m minus n is that fine yes so now almost there i'm almost there summation m is equal to 0 to infinity 2 to the power minus m and i also have another uh, term 2 to the power plus n which is a constant i would write it outside because m is the new variable so what happens now so this is 2 to the power n summation m is equal to 0 to infinity 1 divided by 2 to the power m is that fine yes so now i can apply the result of standard geometric series therefore i would get y of n is equal to 2 to the power n i'll just write it as it is so now this is 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha i have 1 divided by 2 so if i simply solve this i get 2 to the power n into 2 comes to the numerator so combining together i can get this answer as 2 to the power n plus 1 so this is y of n so this is one of the answers part of the answer so i would uh, put this in a box yes y of n is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 for this is important when is that it is n less than or equal to 0 is that okay so I consider the condition when n less than or equal to 0 so now what should I do I have to consider the next condition that is when I make n greater than or equal to 0 what would happen now uh, greater than 0 because I consider less than or equal to so now I would consider n greater than 0 if I consider n greater than 0 that means this h of n minus k keeps shifting towards the right is that okay this entire signal keeps shifting to the right if it keeps shifting to the right I start getting the sample somewhere here so uh, just a minute just let me consider a straight line yes so I start get the signals keeps looking something like this so now I need to multiply and add these two signals so what would be the limits the lower limit is still infinity what would be the upper limit upper limit this time is going to be zero because though this signal exists at this part here I do not have anything so I get the finite answer only from minus infinity till zero is that fine yes so for the limit n greater than zero I would get y of sorry I would get y of n is equal to I said summation what happens now k is equal to minus infinity till 0 what is there inside inside 2 to the power k into 1 so I get this thing so now I have to again convert this to the standards uh, geometric series I can interchange the limit from 0 to minus infinity I know that why I am doing this because I have to make it similar to the standard geometric series so moving further I need plus infinity so what I do is 
I can write zero to infinity so that this becomes two to the power minus k. Are you with me? Just moving further, I can simplify this as k equal to zero to infinity. So this I can write it as one divided by two to the power k. So now applying the result of standard geometric series, y of n is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha which is 1 by 2 and if I solve this 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 and 2 goes to the numerator. Therefore y of n is equal to 2. So this is another answer. For the reason, uh, for the region n greater than 0. So combining together I can write the final answer as y of n is equal to it has got two answer. What is the first answer? First answer is 2 to the power n plus 1. When is this answer? For the range for the value of n less than or equal to 0 and y of n is also is equal to 2 when is that for the value n greater than 0 yes this is one of the numericals on convolution sum I have explained this numerical step by step I hope you people have understood if you still have any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm definitely answer and I'm, I would definitely answer those doubts thank you so much for watching